What up, people? So, in this video, we're going to AFK on uh, Legend 3 Sand Village, Act 3, for Obito's evil item. It's uh, his skin flakes. Yeah, those little balls right there. So, I'm using Kizaru and... Uh, Uh, Kizaru and Kilua, and also uh, Igris. Just because they have shields, so I want them to attack fast. I put him over there. That's the first uh, unit I place down. Then I place uh, Igris all over the map. He's probably only going to get placed down twice, but that's okay. It still works. I put him there in uh, further back and closer. And then I just kind of spam uh, Kilua and uh, Kizua. Kizaru. All over the map, you know? And basically, it's really easy. You just AFK this. You could do it with Tiny Task Automator. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I would suggest maybe AFK for a maximum of five hours because you will max out on uh, green essence. And then you just use it to craft all the, the items. In about probably two days, you'll have max of every essence in the game. You'll probably have to use all the essence to start crafting rainbow essence. But uh, four days legit, you'll be full of every essence in the game. I have also another video where I um, AFK uh, Legend 3 uh, Double Dungeon. You could go check it out. That's the last stage. That's for... Uh, oh, not Legend 3. Sorry, Legend 2. Legend 3, I don't know how to AFK right now. Because basically there's spawns of statues. So Legend 2, I could AFK... Uh, there's a video right here in the corner. You could click on that if you want to. But yeah, I'm just showing you guys this. Because uh, this is a, a successful tiny task. The video that you're going to click on in the corner, I show like how I my process of creating a task. So if you want to like create a task anywhere, you could kind of use that video as an example that goes more in depth of how I record, how I start, where I click. I put stickers on, I'm just doing this on a cheap laptop, and I put stickers all over the screen for where I have to click to start the game. But yeah, it's a very simple video. You should be able to get to Obito Evil easily like this. Like, I have, I've equipped other units just because uh, I want to level them up. Every unit that I'm using is just getting max level easily just by doing this. So yeah. Five hours of this, you'll have max green essence easily. And then just craft the, the colored ones. We're going to watch it to the end just to show you that it works. And yeah. I'm sure you could substitute any strong character for any strong character. You don't necessarily have to use the secret unit. You could use any unit you want. I probably could have beat it with... with uh, uh, hey, hey's good because she does a uh, line and as you can see we're on a linear uh, part of the map But yeah It is what it is Let me know if you want to see any videos of how to afk stuff I will attempt uh I will try to figure out how to AFK Legends uh, 3. We might need... Uh, I might need to like go in a corner of a map and jump on something. So that way... Hmm, I don't know. Because you really have to place four characters. That's the only way I could see it. Is by placing four characters that you could upgrade that have crazy range. Uh, let me know if there's any characters that have crazy range. So I could uh, Evo them, place them on the map, and uh, maybe they could attack all the statues. Place four characters, boop, boop, boop. 
Evo them, they attack statues, and we have our main DPS in the middle. Legend's easy, I find. Once you have your character's uh, max level, the game pretty much, you don't need like the best passives on units. It helps, but yeah, units are strong as they are. Okay, so boss hasn't spawned yet. He spawns at the five minute mark. Right now it's been like, yeah, five minutes since we've been running this. This also works for Legend uh, 2 and Legend 1 in Sand Desert. The good thing about this map is that there's not a lot of room for error. Characters could only go into place I'm putting them in. Some have actually glitched in the wall, so just try to keep, uh, yeah, try to like follow what I did and you should be successful. I try to place a, a character on the bottom there, but he's not needed. It's actually better if he's not there. If the, if, uh, the boss has to walk all the way there, to die, then basically, uh, it's just gonna take longer, you know. And I think this is optimal. Yeah. He's gonna go in phase two. And he spawns puppets in phase two, which can be annoying, but when you have a lot of characters, you're chilling. I find Solar the best for uh, that secret, for Igris. Because you can place multiple of him, he does more range, and he's a full AoE character. So you really want range. Place three of them too. Monarch, you could only place one. Let me know if you've tested with uh, different uh, passives. and yeah. I do believe that Solar is good for Alucard too, on another note. But yeah, that's it, you know? Simple AFK. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know which other ones you want to see. Peace.